Welcome sa Sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on coin problems. No? And uh, uh, this is our fifth uh, video. Uh, sa mga previous videos, ang pinag-usapan natin ay talagang literally coins. No? And kung mapapansin niyo dito sa ating problem, meron tayong bills. No? Yung papel naman yung pinag-uusapan natin na pera. So it doesn't matter no? kung yan man ay coin o yan man ay papel. I, I think the... The idea is that the principle of solving or the method of solving is just the same. No? So, let's read the problem. Terry has 20 peso bills and 50 peso bills in her wallet. When she counted the money, there are 11 bills and the total costs 370 pesos. How many 20 peso and 50 peso bills does she have? Okay, so katulad ng mga um, previous uh, videos natin, uh, we let x be equal to one of the coins, no? one of the type of coins or one of the type of bills. No? So dito, pwede tayo mamili. Pwede tayong, pwede tayong sabihing 50 pesos kunwari. So this is the number of, number of 50 peso bills. No? Number of 50 peso bills. No? Uh, it doesn't matter kung 50 yung pipili natin o 20, no? Uh, mamaya makikita ninyo, pakita ko sa inyo that para magiging sagot niyan, no? Uh, madalas ko yung sinasabi pero hindi ko pa napapakita. No? Uh, next, kung uh, 11, tapos x yung isa, then the other one is 11 minus x, no? Ang principle nito is, halimbawa kung meron kang 11 na, na uh, 50 peso bills, Ah, sorry, kung meron kang 11 na total, tapos meron kang 4 for example dito, syempre, minus mo yung number of 50 peso bills sa total. No? So, maging 7 na lang ito, 11 minus 4 is 7. Meron ka lang 7 na uh, 20 peso bill, no? the number of 20 peso bills, because we subtract 4 from 11. No? So, this is the number, the number of uh, 20 peso bills, no? Okay. So, paano nang susunod na gagawin natin ngayon? Siyempre, i-multiply natin, no? Kung meron kang apat na 50 peso bills, i-multiply mo yung 50 doon sa apat, meron kang 200, no? So, magiging 50 times whatever the number of uh, 50 peso bills dito, magiging 50x plus, no? Uh, o kung may apat ka dito, meron kang ang uh, how many? 7 kunwari. Kunwari lang yun, ha? hindi pa natin nasusog what, what is the value of x. So, meron kang 7 na tag to 20 pesos. So, multiply mo rin ito by 20, no? By 20 pesos. Kung ilan man yan, o 7 kunwari. So, magiging uh, 7, oh sorry, uh, 20 times 7 kung, kung ang x mo ay 4. But here, we don't know x yet, so we retain the uh, expression, no? So, ang total niya, yun yung 370 pesos. No? Okay, so, ganun lang. Uh, simplify na natin. We have 50x plus, we distribute this, no? Distributive property. 20 times 11 is 220. I think that's easy to multiply. And then 20 times x, we minus, minus, 20 times x is 20x. And then this is 370. So, ano nang gagawin natin? We subtract 220 from both sides minus 220. No? So, magiging uh, 50x minus, magka-cancel out na to, no? Uh, minus 20x na nang matitira. And then, we have 0, 5, 1. 150, no? So, 50x minus 20x, that's 30x equals 150. So, x equals 150 over 30 x equals what is 150 divided by 30 that's 5 so meaning yung number of uh, 50 peso bills natin that's 5 meron tayong 5 na 50 and then what's 11 minus 5 yung x natin is 5 so 11 minus 5 this is 6 no? meron tayong 6 na tagbebente so to check tignan natin kung um, tignan natin kung uh, 370 nga siya. So, 5, 
5 uh, times uh, 50, that's 250. 550, 250. Then, meron kang 6 na 20. Meron kang 120. So, that's 370. So, we are correct. No? Kasi pareho dito. We have to check. Ang pag-check niyan, ilan bang bills in total? We have 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. Magkano ba yung total nung, ano, nung uh, pera natin? That's 370. Therefore, we are correct. Now, gusto ko lang balikan yung sinasabi ko kanina na kung kung um, kung 20 pesos naman yung ating X, ay eh, pareho lang din naman yung sagot. No? I know this is uh, very basic, pero syempre hindi naman lahat ng, ng nanonood dito ay talagang uh, marunong sa algebra. Yung iba nagsimula pa lang, no? so kita natin. Yung mga grade uh, schoolers natin na nagsimula para mag-algebra, so they can, they can also uh, see the solution. So, balik rin natin. Ang X natin ay uh, number of 20 peso bills. Number of 20 peso bills. And then yung 11 minus x naman natin be equal to the number of 50 peso bills. Kita nyo later, pareho lang magiging sagot niya. No? So, ganun. No? Balik na rin na natin. So, magiging 20x na ito kasi 20. No? 20x plus 11, plus 50, no? Instead of 20, 50 times 11 minus x, that's 370. So, magiging 20x plus, what is 50 times 11? That's 550, no? Minus 50x equals 370. Medyo mabilis na ako kasi na-explain na ko na yung proseso kanina, no? nag lang yung numbers. So, mangyayari, magiging... Uh, magiging I think we can we can uh, delete this para meron tayong space okay so we have what do we have so minus para x na lang yung maiwan dito we subtract 150 we subtract 550 from both sides by the way kung hindi kayo kung hindi nyo panood yung equation Yung uh, series ko na equation, ito yung sinasabi nila na ilipat mo. So, yung positive 550, lipat mo magiging minus 550. Yung plus 550 dito. No? So, but actually, ang nangyayari is you're either subtracting or adding uh, numbers. no So, minsan, di ba, ang sinasabi ng teacher ninyo sa inyo, pag nilipat mo, magiging minus. So, ito yung konsepto. No? No? Ayoko magturo nung kasi minimemorize yun. No? Mas maganda yung naintilindihan talaga ninyo kung ano nangyayari. So, we cancel this out, maging 20x minus 50x equals, what is 370 minus 550? No? So, ang minaminus natin mas malaki, ibig sabihin na magiging sagot natin dito magiging negative. No? So, 550 minus 370, that's 180 I think. So, negative 180 tayo. So, negative 180. So, negative 30x equals negative 180. What is the value of x? So, syempre, negative 180 over negative 30, which is 6. No? So, ang ano natin, ang number of 20 peso bills natin ay 6. At ang number of uh, 50 peso bills natin ay, syempre, 11 minus 6 magiging 5. Okay? So, notice na nagmamatch, no? eto nagmamatcha dito you should take note na 20 peso bills yan no kahit magkaiba sila na representation so number of 20 peso bills yung 6 talaga sila pareho ganun din yung number of uh, number of 50 peso bills natin number of 50 peso bills that's 5 no? okay so ibig sabihin ang, ang the point here is kung po, Whatever the representation, uh, whichever number you uh, choose first, whichever coin, uh, type of coin, whichever type of bill, dito sa representation, pareho din magiging sagot niya. Yun yung point nitong pangalamang solution natin. Bakit natin siya pinakita. No? So, yan. May mga, yung mga ganitong klase ng, ng problems, pwede natin yung ganitong solution. No? Ito yung pinakamadali kasi yung isang solution, yung pinakita ko sa inyo previous, sa previous video natin. 
Uh, hindi ko na matandaan kung alin doon. No? I think it's video number 2 or 3. Uh, gumamit tayo ng um, gumamit tayo ng systems of uh, systems of equations which is uh, medyo mahaba siya. No? Medyo mahirap siya. But here this is uh, an easier solution. Okay, so I hope nag-enjoy kayo dito sa ating um, coin problems. No? Uh, may problem pa tayo sa susunod. No? And uh, Abang-abangan nyo lang yung ating uh, susunod na video. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.